This training exercise will familiarize you with setting up attack hoses to fight fires and show you how to connect a fire truck to a hydrant water supply. First, we'll establish a water supply line. This ensures you never run out of water when fighting fires. Now, walk over to the indicated compartment on the truck and grab a supply hose. The supply hose is the yellow one. Okay, now, look directly at the connector on the truck. You'll notice that you first need to remove the cap from the connector. So go ahead and remove the cap. Good. Now, look directly at the connector on the truck and connect the hose cover to it. Nice job. Walk over to the indicated fire hydrant. Good. Just like the connector on the truck, look directly at the connector on the fire hydrant and remove the cap. After removing the cap, connect the hose coupler to the hydrant. Well done. You now have a supply line connected to the truck and will have a continuous flow of water for fighting fires. You only need one supply line connected to the truck, but to show you that there are multiple points on the truck you can connect a supply line to, we'll go ahead and connect another supply line. Walk over to the back of the truck and grab a supply line. Head over to the indicated connector on the other side of the truck and connect the supply line. Like before, remove the cap, unroll the hose, and attach the hose coupler to the truck supply line connector. Good. Just like before, grab the coupler on the ground and walk over to the indicated fire hydrant and connect it to the hose. Remember to remove the cap before attaching the supply line to the hydrant. Okay, now we're going to attach an attack hose to the truck. Attack lines are colored red to indicate they're different from supply lines. Now, go to the back of the truck and grab an attack line. You can also grab one from any of the truck's side compartments. Good. Now walk over to the indicated part of the truck where you can connect the attack hose. Normally next to the water supply line connector. As with the supply line, You'll need to first remove the cap from the truck, unroll the hose, and then connect the hose coupler to the truck. Nice. We're going to need a nozzle for the attack line. The nozzle allows you to increase or stop the flow of water as needed. Now, pick up the coupler from the ground and walk to the back of the truck. Open the lower compartment and swap the hose coupler with a nozzle. Now that you have a nozzle, look directly at the coupler on the ground and attach it to your nozzle. Good work! Alright, we started a huge pallet fire.
work. Fire's out. Job done. <laughs>